deal with warlords, people who are perpetrating terrible evils around the world, and you have to speak to them, and you have to persuade them, and you have to keep them on the right track. So it's really good to be in a room of people who I know all they want to do is do good. Yeah. It's wonderful. <laughs> Let me also say that, as you heard from uh, Mr. Brandel, I have been had the pleasure of working in UNICEF since I was 25. Um, it has been an incredible experience. I've worked in, on four continents, on five missions, and one here in New York. And everywhere and every time, I have always seen the line. Everywhere and every time. And the work that you do and how your effort comes together to help transform the lives of young people around the world, particularly the most vulnerable, is wonderful. I am a witness of this since I was a very young man myself. So it really is truly a pleasure for me to be here. Now let me say this. <laughs> I've been asked to speak about the Millennium Development Goals and the Sustainable Development Goals in about eight minutes. Uh, I would love to, but I can't. Uh, the Millennium Development Goals were wonderful they help galvanize a lot of effort for young people. Uh, they helped us take millions, almost 400 million people out of poverty. They helped us drive hunger down, malnutrition down. We've had great, we've made great strides around the world. Uh, they helped us combat HIV and AIDS, malaria, TB, diseases that were ravaging parts of the world, particularly my own continent, Africa where we've lost 26 million people to HIV alone. We've seen the devastation that's taken place in our environment. Uh, as people have struggled to deal with finding energy, they can't just turn on the gas, they have to go out and cut trees. Uh, the, the people were struggling with uh, companies that have come in, coming in that were exploitative in ways in which were not preserving the environment, nor protecting our country. All these are issues that we have been trying to struggle with through the context of the Millennium Development Goals. <coughs> and it's been a wonderful, wonderful undertaking for the global community. But we've also come to realize that the Millennium Development Goals simply did not have the level of ambition that we wanted and that we needed to save our people, to save our planet, and to ensure prosperity. So over the last 18 months here at the United Nations, we have been undertaking a global effort that includes all countries in the world, and that includes virtually all major organizations in the world, including the LIFE, to try to develop a set of new sustainable development goals for the world. Now we have 17 goals, and some people say, oh, that's just too many, because we only had eight for millennium but let's be clear, these are goals for everybody. These are not goals just to fight poverty. These are goals to protect the Earth's people, to protect our planet, and to ensure that global prosperity is enjoyed everywhere by everyone. We're very ambitious. So when you do hear about sustainable development goals, let me tell you what you need to remember, because it's not possible to always try to recall all 17 goals. So what do you need to remember? So I'll give you a few words. The first three words I want you to keep in mind are people, planet, prosperity, and partnerships. Those are the four Ps that I want you to keep in mind. Why? Because the Sustainable Development Goals are about people. They are about ending poverty, not halving, not reducing. We know we have the capabilities now, global capabilities, to actually end poverty everywhere. It's about ending hunger. Why should we continue to have hunger 
on our planet. While we have more than enough food to feed everybody ten times over. It's about ensuring healthy lives for all people. We now have the technology, we have the drugs, we have everything that we need. So why can't we aspire to do that? And we've set a course. I mean, countries like the United States, like Japan, to name some that are represented here, have been able to undertake transformative trans uh, transformation of their own countries in a matter of 50 years, 60 years. I mean, it isn't that long ago that poverty was a problem in Japan, in the United States, just after the Second World War. It's not that long ago. I'm sure there are people in this room who can almost remember it crystal clear. And yet, look where these countries are today. So it's all doable. The question is, do we have the political will and do we have the partnerships to get it done? So those are the first four words I want to leave you with. The second four words, the three words that I want to leave you with, are about what the Sustainable Development Goals are trying to do. They are trying to be first ambitious. We felt that the Millennium Development Goals were simply not ambitious enough. Why should we only take half the kids out of poverty? Why should we only stop half the kids dying? Why not all? Why not all? So we have set a very high level of ambition. Second, it's universal. That's the second word. Which means that the Millennium Development Goals were mainly for developing countries, targeted at developing countries. But you know, your history, Alliance history, has demonstrated that programs have to be global. You don't only undertake programs in developing countries, you take, undertake programs everywhere. You have a universal program. So we have come to learn from that here at the United States, and we're now aspiring for development goals that are universal for everybody. Not just the developing world, we want poverty gotten rid of everywhere. We want hunger gotten rid of everywhere. Even right here in New York City, we have challenges with people going hungry. And we need to make sure that we combat that. So, ambitious, universal. And the third word is transformative. We want to transform our world. It sounds almost magically aspirational. It's because it is. And those who know what has been done in these United States over the last 70, 80 years, and I can name other countries, as I said, that are represented here, that have transformed their countries in the last 70 years, know that this is perfectly doable. If we have the political will, if we have the focus, and if we have the right partnerships to get it done. And our expectation is that organizations such as the Alliance will continue to play a central role in getting the word out to everybody, in mobilizing the partnerships everywhere, not just in developing countries, everywhere, to make sure that we attain the aspiration that we've set ourselves. These goals are commended to you. I commend them to the Lion Club. And I'm hoping that you will embrace them just as you embrace the Millennium Development Goals. Remember, the term of the Millennium Development Goals ends in September this year. December, if you're very technical. But in September, the heads of state will come here to New York and they will sign off on the new Sustainable Development Goals for the 21st century, beginning with the first 15 years. Just like we had the Millennium Development Goals for 15 years. It's done. We set ourselves a new course, and we want you to come along for the ride. Thank you all very much, and God bless you.